Welcome to my kitchen. We are doing gypsy chicken today. I figured because you might be getting sick of takeout or looking for fun, uh, healthy, easy recipes to do. So this is chicken breast. It's been marinating in Italian, just regular Italian dressing. For, I think two days now because I've been meaning to make this for dinner and we just keep eating, you know, leftovers and whatever. But anyway, so chicken breast marinating in Italian dressing. That's all that is. Next thing I do is I add a thing of capers, whatever, the whole jar. Uh, just make sure that you take the liquid out. Okay, and obviously with capers, if you're not familiar with them, they're very salty, so you really don't have to add any salt to the chicken itself. Um, if you're wondering what this is, this is my wok. I cook a lot in this, um, you know, and it's just got so many flavors. Like, I never use soap when I wash it, just hot water and freaking it cooks amazing nothing ever gets stuck I love my wok okay so that's the chicken there we added the little capers the chicken is almost done um, so next thing I'm gonna add is some artichokes again I drain the liquid out of it so it's just the artichoke parts themselves I'm gonna chop these up into smaller pieces I don't know, maybe if it's half the jar, maybe less than half the jar. I don't like eating too many of these because they do put a lot of oil in this, typically. Um, so that's why I don't like too many artichokes. But if you like artichoke, go for it. By the way, this recipe I got from um, Porter's Pub in Easton, Pennsylvania, where we lived before moving here to Texas. And I didn't you know, ask them for the recipe. It's just, it's the dish that I always ordered. It was called Gypsy Chicken. I don't know if it's still on their menu. And it was delicious. And I loved it so much that I was like, I gotta be able to recreate this at home. Stop. And I found a cheap, easy way to do it. Okay, so again, diced tomatoes, whole can. And I'm gonna, again, try not to break the can like I did but take most of that liquid out because basically you don't want it to turn into a soup, right? You don't want too many liquids in there. So I'll probably do like that much, not too much, half, maybe a little over half, half of the can. What about black olives? You want black olives? Yeah. Yeah, grab some. We're gonna dump olives in there. And then for greens, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the rest of this salad. This, this is just mixed Ooh. green salads and I'm gonna try not to put those tomatoes in there. Oh, maybe I could. Yeah, I'll put the tomatoes in there too. Okay, so that's that. And then a whole thing of baby spinach. I like baby spinach. I prefer it only because the bigger, leafier ones, if you're used to cooking with them, they tend not to be as um, tender and then you know, the stock is really thick and doesn't taste as good. So, not the stock, whatever this is called, the stem. I'm gonna cover this up. Give it a few minutes. Once the, um, the spinach starts turning really tender, I come back in, I give it a good stir, and that's it. And we'll show you, once, it, once it's done, uh, what it looks like. Okay, so it was little, little, literally in there for like, I don't know, not even three minutes, two, three minutes. So I'm gonna cut open the chicken, just make sure that it's all done and cooked. I'm um, gonna give it a good stir. And I'm thinking this chicken's gonna taste good, only, yep, it's perfect. Tender, nice and moist. So this would serve, I would say, about three people. It's just my husband and I, my little one already ate dinner tonight. Um, so yeah, that is it. It is inspired by Porter's Pub in Easton. It's my version of Gypsy Chicken. Um, and I really do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and please excuse this. There's no reason to put makeup on. There's no one to see me except for you guys, so maybe I should have dressed up a little bit. Elena, say hi. hi. Say bye. bye. And we'll see you guys later.